You may not always have a comfortable life, and you will not always be able to solve all of the world's problems at once. But don't ever underestimate the importance you can have, because history has shown us that courage can be contagious, and hope can take on a life of its own. That's according to Michelle Obama. Today marks the fourth graduation ceremony of Bungabong National High School, Senior High School, with a the theme, Strengthening the Quality of Education Amid the COVID-19 Pandemic. Another history unfolds as we come to an end of school year 2020-2021. It's been a mind-blowing, challenging year for the students to prove their worth be part of this graduating band. Today sums up the result of all the efforts and sacrifices of the graduating students, parents, and the teachers. That's indeed all worth it. At this juncture, let us witness the brilliant molders of this institution and of course, our graduating students together with their proud parents. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, the processional!
our most gracious, kind, and loving Heavenly Father, the Creator of the universe and all the things of the earth. Lord, we thank you for all the blessings you've given us, for the grace of life, and for your love and care to us. Thank you so much, Lord, for taking care of us through the years of striving on our studies. And we are so happy and thankful to you, O Lord, for guiding us. And here we are, overwhelmed by the success that you've led us through. May your Holy Spirit continually guide us from this day onwards, especially as we are going to face another chapter of our education. Despite the threat of COVID-19, we entrust all of this in your hands. In the loving name of Jesus Christ, our Savior, Amen.
kaibihan, talag sa unggas at sa kahit asan. Kabukiran sa lumang ialimahan, bunga sa kadagaya. A very good day to all of you, and welcome to the fourth Senior High School Virtual Graduation Ceremony of Bungabong National High School. It is a fresh new batch of finishers who will be sent off its portals and towards the different universities to start a new chapter of their lives. Truly, it is a bittersweet feeling to leave our alma mater. The great pandemic, COVID-19, has become the darkest moment in the lives of the students. It gave us pain, fear, and sorrow. For most of us, we will remember school year 2020-2021, a digital, computerized, electronic education, submission of modules, and online class. We were tired and other experienced difficulty in learning the subjects. But the victors always face the challenge, heads up and open arms. Nevertheless, we choose not to fear. We choose not to feel pain and sorrow. We move forward and act on our dreams and realize and materialize our goal. To our parents, who have been very supportive, caring, and really pushed us to this success, no pandemic can really stop you from doing what is best for us. Thank you. To our teachers, who have been very patient and considerate to all our shortcomings since day one of the submission, receiving, and releasing of modules, and from all the endless paperwork you have done for all of us. I know all of you are tired, but allow us to embrace you and feel our sincerest gratitude. To all the graduates, some of us have stopped, few have surrendered, and the majority have been victorious. Though others may find heartaches in not achieving what they desire, some may find circumstances as unfair or difficult, and there are breakups and closures along the way. Please be reminded that the main objective is not to give up on your dreams and not to believe that failure is permanent or that there is a finish line to success. Aja, kaya yan, laban. We, the class 2021, may not have some of what we wish to achieve, yet there are so many other good things that we have unexpectedly gained. Remember, great opportunities are given to those who have experienced failures and resentment because it motivates them even more not to give up in pursuing their dreams. The great pandemic is still out there, but today, allow us graduates to feel and say, this is the day of celebration. This is the day of recognition. This is the day of commemorating our effort, time, talent, and our treasure. But of course, with the guidance of our parents, the unseen hard work of our teachers, and the nurturing atmosphere of our alma mater, finally, we have reached our initial goal, our senior high school graduation. 
Therefore, in this moment of celebration, where big achievements are recognized, it is with great pleasure that I welcome you all to another colorful journey today, tomorrow, and beyond. Welcome to the fourth graduation ceremony, virtual graduation of Bungabong National High School, Senior High School for the academic year 2020-2021. Congratulations to us all victors. May God bless us all. Good day. Mabuhay po tayong lahat. Madam Euphemia T. Gamutin, the school's division superintendent of Dabao de Oro Division, in my capacity as the school head of Bungabong National High School, Senior High School, I have the honor to present to you the 22 males, 37 females, a total of 59 candidates for graduation who have satisfactorily completed all the requirements of the K-12 curriculum for the school year 2020-2021. May I request you, Madam, to please confirm their graduation. By the power in me vested by the Department of Education as the school's division superintendent of the Division of Davao de Oro and based on the certification of the school head of Bungabong National High School, Mr. Rolando C. Noses, I accept and confirm as graduates the 22 male, 37 female, a total of 59 candidates for graduation, who have satisfactorily completed all the requirements of the K-12 curriculum secondary level for the school year 2020-2021. Congratulations! The Senior High School Graduates The Graduates from General Academic Strand Fortitude The graduates from TBL Beauty Care Felicity. The graduates from TVL EIM Forbearance.
day to each and everyone who is uh, attending virtually present at this time of our graduation ceremonies for our beloved and uh, very precious uh, graduates uh, for the school year which ends at this uh, time. First of all, I'd like to greet the parents and family members without whose sacrifices, whose uh, reminders, and whose participation in the learning process for our uh, graduates have resulted in this culmination uh, program. Uh, this year, your role has changed uh, drastically. Where we've always thought, we've always believed that the matter of educating our children rests nearly exclusively on our teachers and our staff. This time, you parents, you family members, you who are in the households of our learners have expanded your role and contributed to this wonderful day wherein finally, finally, our learners are graduating in this culmination exercise. So congratulations, because this year has not been very easy, has not been a, a picnic for our teachers, for our family members, as well, uh, especially the parents, mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, and all who have contributed to the uh, achievement of our learners at this time. So, maraming salamat at congratulations, parents and family members. Mas malaki ang role ninyo at this time compared to earlier graduation exercises. Secondly, I would also like to greet our teachers without whose very uh, careful uh, review and careful supervision of the work of our pupils and our learners this event would not have take would not be taking place um, at all and so thank you teachers your role has also expanded in addition to seeing to it that the modules are faithfully followed the assignments are correctly uh, implemented and the learners are truly learning and you have had to deal with new ways of assessing the performance also of the learners. So congratulations, teachers, for enduring, for your patience, for your love for our learners, and your willingness to engage in a way and methods of teaching which are different from those which are used to. Assessment must have been especially difficult for you, especially since you were not able to see most of the time our students in face-to-face -face, uh, meetings. And most of the meetings, of course, were virtual. We'd also like to thank the local government units for their interest, for their cooperation, and for their continuing, continuing uh, contributions to the needs of education, even as our children do not go to school. Your donations of material as well as financial resources at this time are most welcome and your advice has been taken seriously, not only by our teachers, by our school officials, but also by our officials in the Department of Education. We continually talk with local government units, especially in times of disaster, in times of great need for classrooms, for space, and for responses 
to unforeseen emergencies. Thank you, uh, local government uh, units. But of course, most of the congratulatory uh, greetings uh, fall on the deserving uh, graduate. Each and every one of you is truly special. You are different from the other graduates who have passed through the portals of your school. You went to school practically without seeing your teachers, if at all. You went to school with your parents, your mothers and your fathers hovering over your shoulders and seeing to it that you are able to complete your assignments. You are completing your studies at a time when examinations and assessments are different. You are culminating this uh, long months of, of hard work at this time, uh, even as you have to do family chores, even as you are distracted, and even as your world has turned upside down and it seems and it appears as if we don't know what the future holds and what will happen next. But you have persevered and now you are ready to graduate. And therefore you deserve each and every bit of congratulations from us in the Department of Education, from your parents and family members, your teachers, from the officials in local government, as well as in the parent teachers associations. You deserve each and every single congratulatory pat on your back, each hug virtually, of course, and each greeting, which I am sure you are also receiving virtually. I don't know if uh, you will remember this event many, many years from now. I have tried to recall myself who our graduation speaker was when I finished high school and when I finished uh, my college studies. All I remember is that the graduation speaker was someone important, someone who was invited because that someone is supposed to give a message. What was more important to us graduates at that time was the excitement of the celebrations, the happiness and the joy of our parents, the sadness of parting from our classmates and from our teachers, and the enjoyment of all the graduation events that usually take place come commencement day. When I was a college student, we had a series of events which were designed to uh, embed in our minds, which were designed to help us remember and not forget our days in college. We would spend one whole day going around the campus, visiting the classrooms, saying goodbye to our teachers, and sharing our memories. We would have bonfires to say goodbye to each other. We had baccalaureate services where we committed ourselves to God and we prayed for guidance when we go out into the world. So many celebrations and the speaker, of course, is the least important and easily forgotten component of the graduation um, exercise. Nonetheless, I will uh, exert all efforts to share with you what I see are things or issues which a graduate uh, should uh, 
remember and recall. I have said that you are very special. You are very different. You are pioneering. There has been no other class like your class. There has been no other graduate like you as a graduating student because you are the very first graduate of the blended learning response to education uh, in the Philippines. And so you ask yourself, what awaits you in the world outside? You can either work because the kind of curriculum you survived and underwent as a student will enable you to go to work if you wish to go to work. Some of you will proceed to further studies and this would be a wonderful thing because there are many opportunities for further expanding your knowledge, for further answering and looking for explanations of issues, events that, are, that make you curious, especially in science, in technology, and also uh, in the arts. So you can work, you can go to further uh, studies, and perhaps some of you will settle down, uh, hopefully not too soon, so you can pursue what you really want to do. So today, this is why we call it, we call this exercise a commencement exercise. It's not the end of our studies. It's not the end of all our efforts with blended learning, with modules, with floods, with earthquakes, and of course, with COVID. It's a commencement of doors opening to you. More doors will be opened because you are a graduate. You can work, you can proceed for further studies, you can help your parents, and you can perhaps look for opportunities to do what you have always wanted to do whether at work, whether at advanced studies, whether at learning more in science and technology, in mathematics and in the arts. All of these opportunities are available to you. More doors are being opened. I hope you will select the door which arouses your curiosity, the door which will help you know more about this world, and the door which will allow you to contribute to the development of our country and contribute whatever we can to solve our problems and our challenges. Congratulations once more to each and every one of you. Congratulations to you, parents and family members. Congratulations to you, teachers. When I was chair of the board of Silliman University, each time we had graduation ceremonies during the baccalaureate and during commencement itself, I would cry. I would cry because you are sending out into the world a new batch of, of graduates and we want to be sure that what is awaiting them is appropriate. We want to be sure that they are ready for what awaits them when they select which door to open. And so we tell you, go out to the world do whatever you want to do. God be with you and be sure, be assured that all of us love 
each and every one of you. Congratulations. Intensifying education in this time of pandemic is truly a Herculean challenge. We have been strengthening quality education over the years, but we are now confronted with the new normal where we need to change learning modalities and strategies swiftly. Making them responsive is even more challenging not to mention exciting. Dear graduates and parents, the school year 2020-2021 will be written in two different ways in our history. One would be a story of resilience. The other would be accounts of discovery and creativity. No matter how we look at each story, we are faced with a puzzling truth of survival and success. Yes, we have survived one year of no face-to-face -face interaction inside the classroom. We survived with learning through the help of modules or online delivery and instructions or radio and TV-based instructions. I would like to commend every school for preparing comprehensively its learning continuity plan with alternative actions and solutions for those who need interventions. Our more than 1.4 million enrollees in public and private schools from kindergarten to grade 12 have shared their stories of joy and sadness. Some of them are glad to experience staying and learning at home together with their parents or siblings, while others feel sad not seeing their classmates and teachers. Our more than 44,000 teachers have walked extra miles ensuring no learner will be left behind. I commend their sacrifices, hard work, and a lot of creativity. They innovated and unleashed their potentials in this time of pandemic. We have witnessed how they have become instant videographers, broadcasters, writers, artists, bikers, and many more. We have proven that education can continue anytime and anywhere, even with this pandemic that threatens us. Congratulations to all of you graduates, parents, teachers, and our educational leaders for by looking at all these challenges as opportunities to learn and grow, you showed how resilient you can be. The department in this time is prouder to see all of you endure the test of time. This pandemic has connected all of us to think of each other's safety and welfare. Let us continue to pray for healing. Let us continue to pray for hope and for better days. My courtesies to the Provincial Governor of Davao de Oro, Honorable J.B. Tyrone L. Huy, Honorable Vice Governor Maria Carmen Zamora, Members of the Sangguniang Panlalawigan, Representatives of Congressional Districts, Honorable Ruel Peter Gonzaga of District 2, Honorable Manuel Zamora of District 1, Municipal Mayors, Barangay Officials, 
Assistant Schools Division Superintendent of the Division of Davao de Oro, Dr. Romel R. Handayan, Chief of the School Governance and Operations Division, Dr. Ruben Riponte, OIC Chief of Curriculum Implementation Division, Dr. Arlene Lim, Education Program Supervisors, District Heads, School Heads of both Elementary and Secondary Schools, Public and Private, Teachers, ALS Implementers, Parents, Graduates, Friends, Greetings to everyone on this momentous celebration of success. This year's batch of graduates and completers, I believe, is a unique batch of being a group of successful students who victoriously braved the storm brought about by the threats of COVID-19. The country was spared from SARS in 2002 to 2003, from MERS in 2012, but COVID-19 affected all walks of life since early 2020. Our graduates and completers might even have been in crossroads on whether to finish school or wait for the next school year for a lot of different reasons. School year 2020-2021 is a unique year of schooling. For the first time in the history of Philippine education, that the use of different learning modalities have to be massively employed just to make sure that the department continuously delivers education services to its clientele. The school division of Davao de Oro is indeed blessed for despite the challenges ushered in by the pandemic, its schools and learning centers undoubtedly stood by its mantra of providing quality education services. Sa gitna ng hamong dulot ng pandemya, pinatatag at pinaigting pang lalo ng buong sangay ng kagawaran ng edukasyon ng Davao de Oro, ang pagbibigay serbisyo sa mga kabataan nito. Hindi matatawaran ng kahit sino ang pagkakabuklod-buklod ng iba't ibang ahensya ng pamahalaan at iba't ibang sektor ng ipunan sa pagtataguyod ng walang puknat na pagdaloy ng serbisyo para sa bawat mag-aaral. Hindi rin ilulubayan ng ating mga kaguruan ang pagsusubaybay sa mga mag-aaral upang masisiguro na ang bawat isa ay nakatatanggap at nakasusumite ng kanilang learning modules at mga kinakailangan upang mabigyan sila ng karapat-dapat na marka. Amidst the challenges brought about by the pandemic, the Department of Education, led by the Honorable Secretary Leonor Magdules Briones, manifested resiliency in its own way. With a batch of graduates and completers we have this year, we yield them to the next level of further learning. It is with joy that I congratulate each one of them with their parents, teachers, and school heads who have worked together and blended their efforts into a fabric of success for each of our students. We have been into very difficult situations for varied reasons, but we all experience God's protection in everything that we went through. This shall also propel us to continue kindling the enthusiasm within us to do better each day, raising the bar of excellence in the way we do things, and hold on to the inspiration that we could still be the best of what we can be. May our graduates and completers genuinely share the vision of government on good governance that as they go through further learning and eventually to the world of work, may each one of them become responsible contributors to the country's development and actively take part in making the Philippines a nation of economic stability, 
resiliency, and most of all, a nation that deserves the promises of the Almighty God. It is also with sincere appreciation as we acknowledge the immeasurable and unconditional support of the provincial, municipal, and barangay local government units as well as the offices of the two congressional districts of the province of Davao de Oro. The school year that has just ended wouldn't have been this productive and fruitful without their solicitousness and assistance that effectively scaffolded school and office operations. Indeed, healing as one has been a real-life experience for all of us. To our education key players of the Department of Education, with the Regional Director, Dr. Alan G. Farnaso, on the Hill, and as we respectively hold fast to the oars of the vessel we are all in, let us, in unison, row the boat safely ashore each year. Psalm 127 verse 1 says, Unless the Lord builds the house, his builders labor in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the watchmen stand guard in vain. Let us, therefore, continuously seek what pleases the Lord. For unless the Lord blesses, our labor would be in vain. To everyone, my warmest congratulations. Looking forward to another great year ahead of us. By courtesy to the school's division superintendent of DepEd Davao de Oro, Eupemia T. Gamutin, CESO 5, to Dr. Romel R. Mandaya, the Assistant Schools Division Superintendent, Honorable Governor of Davao de Oro, Governor J.B. Tyrone L. Uy, Honorable Congressman of District 2, Attorney Ruel Pedro S. Gonzaga, our Municipal Mayor, Honorable Roberto M. Yugo, the Honorable Vice Mayor Madel Cervantes, and the Sanguniang Bayan members of the Municipality of Pantungan, the school principals, teachers, parents, graduates. With a happy heart, I am extending my warmest congratulations to every graduate of all the schools of Pantungan North District for your graduation and completion exercises for school year 2020-2021. Your success spell out strength of character, commitment, and excellence as you successfully accomplish your aim target even amidst difficulty and challenges brought by the COVID-19 pandemic. No amount of fear due to threats in transmission of the virus and happiness because you haven't seen your classmates and teachers, boredom because you are working alone with your self-learning module at home, that can hamper your strong determination to continue to reach your goal. With the joint efforts of the parents and teachers in helping you deliver the instruction, provide a great impact to your lives, which you ought to be grateful for. It explicitly sent a reminder to everyone that when schools, families, and community groups work together to support learning, learners tend to do better in schools and achieve more. To the graduates and completers, may you bring with you the life's lessons in this very inspiring story of the rocks, pebbles, and sand. This is the story. Once a professor entered the classroom with a glass jar, rocks, pebbles, and sand, the students were amused to see what he was up to. First, he started filling the rock parts into the jar until he couldn't add any more. He asked the students if the jar was full and everybody nodded yes. He then started putting the pebbles inside the jar which went inside through the small gaps and he shakes the jar to allow the pebbles to get into those vacant spaces 
in between the rocks. He asked again the same question to the students, and they again said that the jar was full. Finally, he poured the sand inside the jar, which went through the minute gaps and got filled in the jar. The professor explained that this is how you should set priorities in life. Rock is like your family, while pebbles are like your career, and sun is like the least priorities in life and unnecessary quarrels and egos. If you put sand on the jar first, it will get easily filled up, leaving no space for rocks and pebbles. In this trying time, you should identify your priorities in life and develop a good strategy to work towards fulfilling your dreams rather than wasting your time and effort on unnecessary aspects of life. In behalf of the Ed Baduka North History, happy completion and graduation day. An author once said, and I quote, Success is not built on success. It's built on failure. It's built on frustration. Sometimes it's built on catastrophe. Life is full of twists and turns for you to succeed the same way over and over again. What worked last time often fails the next time because the situation is subtly different. These are the statements that appropriately describes our learning experience for the two years in senior high school. The pandemic has turned our way of learning 360 degrees. It challenged and strained our education more than it has benefited it. It became the reason of the schools to close and suspend our face-to-face -face classes, forcing us to adopt and use the alternative learning modality that is convenient for us, which the use of self-learning modules. This modality challenges us to slowly embrace the huge changes of the things we usually do, particularly the way we learn in school. Having all this, it brought enormous impact to the quality of learning that we have because of the struggles that we encounter while studying, such as difficulty in understanding the lessons on our own, presence of distractions at home, loss of interest to continue studying, limited learning materials, unstable internet connection, pressure in answering the modules on our own, financial problems, and etc. However, despite the difficulties, the whole learning experience during this pandemic enabled us to enhance our knowledge, skills, attitudes, and values. This made us become more independent. It also allows us to have a taste of failure and success. Learning in the new normal allows us to experience many failures before we succeeded. These are life's way to make us stronger and wiser the second time around. We learn by mistakes and we succeed because we fail. We experience doubts, disappointments, fear, and rejection. Yet, we choose to stand still. We choose to be courageous enough to pursue learning despite the struggles and limitations imposed by the pandemic. These things were made possible due to the collaborative effort of the key persons in our education which are our school administrators, teachers, parents, and students to allow access to quality of education amidst the pandemic as the theme of this school year's virtual graduation ceremony, strengthening the quality of education amid the COVID-19 pandemic. In this connection, I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude to the following people who in one way or another contributes to the success of our academic endeavors. First, our Almighty God for the gift of life and the chance to witness how beautiful the world can be despite the darkness we are currently facing due to COVID-19 and for making us stronger day by day and keeping us alive and safe. Second, to our school principal, who provided strategic direction in the school system and leading our teachers in delivering the alternative mode of learning so we can continue our education despite the pandemic. Third, our dear teachers who untiringly helped us learn by exhausting their energy, 
to reproduce the modules that we need to use and imparting their knowledge through offering feedbacks virtually. Fourth, our beloved parents who constantly and selflessly provide their love and support just to provide us with all our needs, especially in our studies. Thank you for sacrificing your life for us, which you choose to work in the middle of the global pandemic. And finally, to my fellow graduating students who cheered and supported me with my struggles, and encourage me to continue with our endeavors in studying so together we can release the fruits of our success. Today, as we close this one chapter of our life, may the friendship we have made here will last a lifetime in the same way we have supported each other and helped each other succeed in this year's at Bungabong National High School. I hope we will continue to provide support and encouragement for each other in future endeavors. Once again, Thank you so much for all your help. I will be forever grateful to all of you. This chapter will never be complete without your help. We would not be here today if it's not for your sacrifice. Fellow graduates, I want you to know that there is only one thing that makes a dream impossible to achieve. It is the fear of failure. It is because your destination will be so much worth it because those failures made you value what success is. Because success will never be worth it without failures. Congratulations to us, Bungabong National High School, Senior High School Class of 2021. Now, we can confidently say that we survived. We, the members of Class 2021, solemnly pledge that as graduates of Bungabong National High School, we shall strive to live up to the standard of excellence of our alma mater, the steward of excellence to elevate the mind and strengthen character, and to be always on the side of the law, freedom, and justice for the service of God country and mankind so help me God
could come into reality. 